10 Most Powerful and Rare Production Hypercars The automotive industry is the one that has demonstrated the most technological advances over the years. These new technologies have led to the creation of real beasts that sometimes seem impossible to handle. Today, you will have the fortune of discovering 10 engineering masterpieces of the 21st century that you will not believe when you see them. Ready to push the limits of speed? Let's get started! Before we begin, let's think about what a hypercar is. Well, it's a car that goes further than a supercar, right? Exactly, but hypercars are more than that. Hypercars include state-of-the-art technology developed by car makers and come in limited production. Also, hypercars are fast machines with an out-of-the-ordinary design that makes them unique. In total, only 1% of the cars in circulation worldwide are hypercars, so it is quite common for these cars to be very expensive and difficult to access for the average customer. But today, we will delight you with 10 hypercars taken from a science fiction movie that will surely blow your mind. But before we start, I invite you to subscribe and like this video to keep bringing you more quality content. Now, fasten your seatbelt and let's start from the top with an old acquaintance. 10. Hispano Suiza Carmen Bologna Hispano Suiza is a legendary Spanish brand of luxury cars that in its golden years competed directly with Rolls-Royce. Now, almost 70 years after being out of business, it is returning like a phoenix with a hypercar made according to the tradition of the brand. With Carmen, the Hispano Suiza comes back to the scene fully adapted to new technologies. This electric hypercar was unveiled in 2019, but at the end of 2020, the sporty and extra limited version was presented, the Carmen Bologna. Almost 1,100 horsepower transmitted to the rear wheels, each with a permanent magnet electric motor, which can be enjoyed during the 250 miles of autonomy it has thanks to the 80 kilowatt hour battery installed. It goes from 0 to 60 in less than 2.5 seconds and registers a top speed of 180 miles per hour due to the weight reduction of the base version of the Carmen to 1,630 kilograms. This was achieved by revising suspension elements and replacing the subframe with a carbon fiber one. Only five Carmen Bologna will be produced because each one is handcrafted to the finest coach building standards, which is why the asking price for each is 1.65 million euros or 1.38 million Queen's pounds. 9. Mazanti Avantra Milli Cavalli R a few years ago, it was normal to find supercars with a European car's body and American engines, especially Italian cars. Well, apparently this old custom is still alive in our times with this little-known hypercar, the Mazzanti Evantra Millicavalli R. Long name, huh? The name comes from the designer's surname, Luca Mazzanti, and the name Millicavalli translates from Italian as a thousand horsepower. At the rear, we find a GM LS7 twin-turbo engine, modified to suck 7.3 liters and produce 1,121 horsepower that's transmitted to the rear wheels through a modified 7-speed sequential gearbox for track performance. The car body has aerodynamic elements to achieve better cornering speed, although the weight of the car was increased by 80 kilograms. Even though it was launched in limited production, some 25 units were sold for almost $1.2 million. Una bellezza totale. 8. Aria FXE Straight from American soil, we have a hybrid thoroughbred with plenty of American muscle, capable of 1,150 horsepower. The Aria FXE is the product of the Aria Group, whose roots go back to General Motors. Although not a household name, Aria Group was part of the development of cars such as the Singer Porsche 911, the Shelby GL1, and the Tesla Model S. They've also designed other vehicles such as the SpaceX Dragon Capsule and the Warthog from Halo 4. Back to the FXE, 
This hypercar has the GM LT4 engine from the Chevrolet Corvette Z06 in the rear and two electric motors on the front axle, making it a hybrid. Power from the engine is sent to the rear wheels through a 7-speed sequential gearbox and electric motors drive the front wheels, making this car four-wheel drive. From 0 to 61 in 3.1 seconds and reaching a top speed of 220 miles per hour. This performance comes from the combination of massive power and a lightweight chassis based on carbon fiber, 3D printed aluminium and titanium, and forged wheels with carbon fiber accents. 7. Zenvo TSRS Denmark is a country known for its sandwiches and stories for children. But in recent years, a number of Danish brands have entered the hypercar market. Unveiled during the 2018 Geneva Motor Show, the TSRS is based on the TSI GT platform and uses a built-in house 5.8-litre flat-plane crank V8 engine. The twin supercharged engine delivers 1,177 brake horsepower and 1,200 newton meters of torque. All this power is smoothly transmitted to the road thanks to its racing-tuned seven-speed shift paddle transmission. The overall design of the Zenvo TSRS has aggressive lines to reduce air resistance as much as possible. In addition, thanks to its integrated active aerodynamic system, it is capable of generating sufficient downforce for cornering and also for use as an air brake. It goes from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds and reaches a top speed of 202 miles per hour. Drivers will be able to experience these figures relatively easily thanks to the built-in power steering that provides a smooth and precise ride. For £1.3 million, you can own this Danish beast that has come to compete with its peers from well-known brands such as Bugatti. 6. Neo EP9 the NEO EP9 was first made public at the Saatchi Gallery in London after 11 months of precise development. It is a two-door electric hypercar designed and manufactured by NEO, a Chinese company in partnership with the British Formula E racing division. There will only be 16 units and six of these have already been sold, costing £2.5 million. Pounds. Oh, and by the way, this hypercar is for track use only and there won't be a road legal version. But anyhow, hypercars are meant to go as fast as possible on the tracks. As part of the new generation of electric hypercars, the EP9 has four water-cooled electric motors and independent drives at each wheel. The motors each have approximately 335 horsepower, delivering a combined total power output of 1,341 horsepower. NEO engineers incorporated torque vectoring into the car so that each wheel exerts the exact torque per corner. With this configuration, the EP9 can either be an all-wheel drive or single-wheel drive. Incredible, isn't it? Not only that, but it also features active suspension and incorporates racing elements such as brakes and a carbon fiber chassis built to FIA Le Mans prototype specifications. To power the four motors, a lithium-ion battery pack gives it 265 miles of range. It goes from 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds and reaches a top speed of 194 miles per hour. It's a pity that NEO didn't expect to make a road-going version to experience the feeling of a Le Mans prototype on public roads. 5. Bugatti Cento Dieci the Bugatti Cento Dieci is, for me, a love letter to the model that revived the brand in the 1990s. The Cento Dieci is a 10-unit limited production hypercar that commemorates the EB110 and takes several of that car's front-end features combined with those of the Chiron. Following the brand's tradition, the rear is powered by Bugatti's familiar quad-turbo W16 engine. In the Cento Dieci, this 8-litre engine has an output of 1,578 horsepower, transmitted to all four wheels. In fact, the platform of this car is the same as that of the Chiron. From 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds, and with a top speed limited to 240 miles per hour, this unique hypercar may be the most exclusive Bugatti in existence today. 4. Lotus Evaya there was a time when Lotus was synonymous with innovation on the racetrack and many of those advances were incorporated into its production cars. Today, after many ups and downs, Lotus formally enters the electric hypercar market with the Avaya. 
destined to be produced in 130 units, the Avaya is Lotus' first foray into this market, and we'll review what's innovative about this model. To begin with, it follows the concept of today's electric hypercars, with four independent electric motors on all four wheels. Each motor has 493 horsepower and delivers a total output of 1,970 horsepower. The 70 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack was developed in conjunction with Williams Formula One team. The final production version will feature the usual additions for this type of vehicle, that is, torque vectoring, active suspension, regenerative braking, active aerodynamics, and stability control. It is worth noting that Lotus has carried out a lengthy testing process on the model before releasing it to the public. Because Lotus is still putting the finishing touches on the Avaya for public release, exact performance figures are not known. But according to Lotus, the top speed will be well over 200 miles per hour, and acceleration will be so incredible that it will do 0-60 in less than 3 seconds. 3. Zinger 21C If performance is anything to go by, then no one can really question the hypercar credibility of this American marvel. The 21C is a hybrid hypercar that draws its power from two electric motors and a 2.8-litre twin-turbo V8 engine. The link between the two powertrains is a seven-speed sequential transaxle gearbox designed and built in-house by Zinger. Powering the electric motors is a 2 kilowatt hour lithium titanate battery, which can be recharged by a generator unit or through regenerative braking. The beefy V8 alone can generate 950 horsepower and 550 pound-foot of torque. Coupled with the two electric motors, each rated at 150 horsepower, this hybrid system combined generates a maximum power output of 1,250 horsepower. The SR71 spy plane inspires the design. The 21C's aerodynamic design incorporated front canards together with a manually adjustable rear which the company claims can deliver at least one ton of downforce at speeds exceeding 200 miles per hour. The Zinger 21C does 0-60 in 1.9 seconds and can reach a top speed of 280 miles per hour. Sales and deliveries of the Zinger 21C are slated for 2023, and only 80 units will be built, each costing at least $2 million. 2. Aspark Owl The Aspark Owl is an all-electric hypercar designed and manufactured by Aspark Company, a Japanese firm, together with Manifatura Automobili Tarini. Its powertrain consists of four electric motors that work hand-in-hand -hand to output a massive 1,984 horsepower and 1,475 pound-foot of torque. This hypercar packs a 64-kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery that guarantees a 280-mile drive range and recharges fully in 80 minutes. To reduce weight while still maintaining high strength, the bodywork and chassis are all built from carbon fiber. Although this car hasn't come out of production yet, some say that it can do 0-60 in just 1.69 seconds and reach a top speed of 249 miles per hour. Well, that's Aspark's own words speaking, and we'll see if reality breaks those numbers. The concept car first made its debut at the Frankfurt Auto Show in 2017. In late 2019, the production version was unveiled at the Dubai International Motor Show. After four years of precise fine-tuning, Aspark was made available for sale in 2021. Unfortunately, only 50 units are expected to come out of the production line, and probably all have been booked if not already sold. 1. SP Chaos Hypercar Ok, here we are. Our number one powerful and ultra-rare hypercar on the list is the SP Chaos Hypercar. Apart from its suggestive name, this mythological beast comes out from a Greek automotive company, Spiros Panopoulos. The Greek lads of SP wanted to make a name for themselves in the market, and they came out with the idea of building the most outrageous hypercar ever built by established brands such as Koenigsegg or Bugatti. They named it Chaos. Two versions of the Chaos will be rolled out, the Earth and Zero Gravity. Assisted with an electric system that is yet to be announced, the latter packs a V10 twin-turbocharged engine that generates a massive 3,065 horsepower and a maximum torque of 1,983.5 newton meters. Coupled with the engine is either a 7-speed or 8-speed dual-clutch transmission system. 
SP claims that their beast can go from 0 to 60 in a mere 1.5 seconds and reach a top speed of 311 miles per hour. That sounds pretty chaotic, doesn't it? The chassis is built from a Zylon monocoque, while three quarters of the body is 3D printed from titanium and aluminium alloys, and also incorporate carbon fiber and Kevlar parts. As far as the aerodynamics is concerned, SP claims that the downforce numbers of the Chaos match those of a Formula One car. When it comes to pricing, the Earth model will sell at $6.4 million, while the Zero Gravity version will be sold for almost $14 million. Production will be limited to 15 to 20 cars per year. And that's it for today's video. If you had enough money to own one of these hypercars, which one would you like to have? I'll be waiting for your answers and opinions in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a generous like on the video so we can keep bringing you quality content. See you on the next video. Drive safe and enjoy your ride. Cheers!